So we have a Facebook group called UP for Ending Corporate Personhood, and the premise is every issue that we are concerned about, the underlying premise is money and politics. Whether it's the Keystone Pipeline, GMOs in our food, healthcare, education, um, you know, just about every concern we have is caused by money and politics that the corporations have pretty much bought our government. Uh, our congressmen, people, Congress people are not representing us by any means. They're representing the corporations and the big money um, parties. And so we are just getting together when issues arise to share our concern and to voice our opinions. And today we are here to voice our opposition to the Keystone XL Pipeline. Um, 350.org uh, posted an invite for a day of action to inform President Obama of our opposition to the Keystone and that it will be devastating to the environment. There have been numerous oil spills already this year all around the nation. And we have 20% of the fresh water is in our Great Lakes and that's of the whole world. And so we can't risk contamination. But here at home, we have an even bigger issue of our local congressman, Dr. Dan Benishek, who has posted a comment in the mining journal saying uh, he doesn't understand why the Keystone XL can't come down from Canada and go right through the UP. Really? Yes, because he thinks that it will help create jobs and might reduce the price of gas. Well, research shows that it will not reduce the price of gas and the jobs that would be created are terminal. They're temporary and, you know, jobs that will help contribute to the devastation of our environment. So I say we need to, you know, kick the fossil fuel habit, say no to the tar sands, say no to the Keystone Pipeline. We need to divert our resources to increasing the research and development and jobs in the manufacture, installation, and maintenance of alternative energy sources like solar, wind, and water, and that's where we need to be putting our money. So we need to say no to the Keystone Pipeline.